Provide supportive ventilations as needed. Pre-oxygenate the patient using a basic airway maneuver and maintaining neutral inline stabilization. Inspect and prepare the equipment as the patient's ventilations are being assisted. Insert the combat tube between ventilations by lifting the lower jaw and tongue upward with the non-dominant hand while inserting the combat tube with the dominant hand. Be careful to avoid tearing the cuffs while passing over teeth or dental appliances. Continue inserting the combat tube until the marker rings are aligned with the patient's teeth or alveolar rings of the mandible. Using the large syringe, inflate the pharyngeal cuff marked number one with 100 cc's of air. The device should now be seated in the posterior pharynx just behind the hard palate. Now use the small syringe to inflate the distal cuff marked number two with 10 to 15 cc's of air. Usually the device will be inserted into the patient's esophagus. To confirm this, begin ventilation through the esophageal tube labeled number one. If auscultation of breath sounds is positive and gastric insufflation is negative, continue to ventilate with the BVM. If no breath sounds are heard with auscultation and gastric insufflation is positive, immediately ventilate via the shorter tracheal tube, which is labeled number two. Confirm placement in the trachea with auscultation.